schedule is always difficult in the Big Ten, uh, but um, it, it's one of the keys for me in looking at those out-of-division games because everybody plays the same schedule in division, of course. But who do you have to play on that other side, which features Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State, Penn State in particular, than the other three where there's the huge drop-off? And you only get one of those, and you get them at home. And, of course, they're the king of the hill, Ohio State. But other than that, uh, it's it's a, a date against Maryland late on the road, and it's Indiana. So it's a difficult Big Ten schedule. And as we mentioned, outside of Illinois, you can make a case for just about every team in the Big Ten Western Division possibly pulling off a, a championship. It's it's uh, the, the division is on the rise. There's no question about it. Uh, how do you look at the schedule and uh, some of the possible pitfalls? Well, like you said, uh, you know, the big one is Ohio State. And luckily it is at home. So, you know, that's that's the game that everybody's looking forward to. And Hopefully they're not overlooking the, the other games on their schedule before that happens. But, uh, yeah, um, you know, Nebraska does. They get the luck of the draw. You know, some years you got to play all the big boys. Some years you only get one or two. So definitely that battle is going to be on the West. And, uh, you know, Nebraska, again, gets lucky there because you got Wisconsin here at home again. Um, you have Iowa here at home. Um, so, you know, Minnesota, that's going to be – that's the game that I'm scared of right there because a lot of people are picking Minnesota to be pretty darn good this year. So that's the one that jumps out on the schedule to me. Um, you also you get Northwestern at home here too. So pretty much all those tough games are going to be here in Lincoln this year. Um, so hopefully the Huskers can take advantage of that. South Alabama at home. Then the trip to Boulder to take on Colorado to hopefully get some revenge against the Buffs. Uh, yep. Not going to mark that as a win because obviously it was a loss last year, but they should be uh, a fairly substantial favorite in that game. Northern Illinois at Illinois to open Big Ten play uh, the, against the worst team in the division. And then, most likely, don't want to throw these games as give me's, but 4-0 and taking on Ohio State. And boy, the hype for that game is going to be ratcheted up if they're 4-0 and with uh, the Buckeyes coming in. I got to think that would be uh, college game days stop on that Saturday if they're both four and oh. Um, yeah, that, that, that'll be crazy. Um, you know, but Nebraska has got to prove themselves first. That's for sure. But uh, you know, every, everybody is looking forward to that game around here. And why wouldn't you, um, you know, like I, like I said earlier, Nebraska being ranked in the top 25, you know, if they're four and oh, they're going to be, I would say, what, around 15, 17 maybe by that time? It, it's hard to say. But uh, you'd probably you'd probably figure that's going to be a night game too if, if it's that big of a deal. I, I think the Big Ten's waiting to – I think they're waiting until the week before that to announce yep. uh, what time that's going to be played at. So, yeah, I mean, what what more could you ask for? Nebraska, Ohio State on a, on a Saturday night, you know, in Lincoln? Wow. Just yeah, it's going to be a spectacle. There's no question about that. And uh, the irony of it, as you alluded to, is that even though the Ohio State game is going to grab the national attention, uh, the the worst case scenario to a certain extent for Nebraska fans or for any team in the Big Ten Western Division is you 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 put a ton of energy and focus into the, that game and maybe you lose close, maybe you win close. Uh, and then there are other teams right behind there. You got Northwestern and Minnesota. And as you mentioned, the Golden Gophers on the road. And uh, you, you finish, let's say, seven and two in the conference and otherwise would win a, a, a division championship. But maybe the head to head, you lose to a Minnesota, Northwestern, Wisconsin, whomever. Uh, I expect it to be a fascinating race uh, because I think there are five to six quality teams and, and the Big Ten West is stronger than it's than it's been since they assembled the thing. Oh, absolutely. Look at the look at the uh, the poll that came out. There's seven Big Ten teams ranked in that. In the top 25 um and you know you got nebraska you got iowa you got wisconsin all out of the west there so you know i think it's definitely a conference on the rise um like you said anybody could win this i mean i wouldn't even count illinois out yet um but i think the national the national audience has recognized too that it's a it's a conference on the rise um you know, going to get a little bit more national notoriety, not that they don't already, but, uh, you know, if they can keep on winning games, you know, this is going to be 
this is going to be a lot of fun to watch this year for sure. For sure. And what's funny is you mentioned Northwestern and they don't get ranked. They won the division last year. They made it to Indianapolis. Uh, they've got three 10 win seasons in the last five years. They never get ranked preseason. No, no, no. Never get uh, <laughs> regarded. I saw a football power index where they were like 55 in the country. And I thought, you know what? They may not be as good as they were last year, but they, they will be a tough out for anybody. And they, they always show up. And it's just amusing to me that they never get respected, but uh, certainly turn out to, to, typically field a better team than most people anticipate. Well, look at just look at the way they play Nebraska every year. I mean, those games go right down to the wire every time. You know, I mean, that's one of the funnest rivalries probably in the Big Ten, if you ask me. And nobody calls it a rivalry, but – uh, it's, 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 it's a great point, but nobody does call that a rivalry. You could name 10 in the Big Ten and nobody would yeah. mention that, but we've had a Hail Mary win a game in the last yeah. two years between those two teams. We've had a ridiculous comeback in the last five minutes by Northwestern. We've had all sorts of zaniness between those two teams uh, when those two get together. Uh, Greg Peterson, uh, Husker Online Rivals. Please uh, check out his work with Husker Online and uh, helping us out with Nebraska football. Greg, we appreciate you stopping by. No problem. Thanks a lot, Mark.